Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. The week that was baby love. I made and finished some baby projects and I thought I'd share them with you. So first of all, I did finish my Tummy Time Mat Come Baby Blanket in Bernay Yarn. This was inspired by Anthony from Karma Is A Stitch. He was making or is making a knitted blanket in Bernay Yarn. And when I tidied up my yarn stock, I had two balls of this yarn in my stock that I've had for a very long time. And I've always balked at it because it's a bulky six, which is a bit heavy for the tropics. But I thought, what a great idea. I'll make a tummy time mat come blanket. So this was the ball band, bulky six. The color is called Sunray, which is bright yellow, which is lovely. And I used a nine millimeter crochet hook, but it is finished. So finished object for baby love number one. So number two is a hashtag. This is hashtag knitting with Ukraine. Now the channel is Mousy Makes, I think with Amanda Jane. I'll make sure there's a link to her channel in the description below. She is asking people to pick a Ukraine designer off Ravelry and make something and hashtag it knitting with Ukraine. So the people in Ukraine or our crafty friends in Ukraine know we are still thinking about them. Early in the conflict, I bought some um, amigurumi patterns from a Ukraine designer to support them. This time I went on to Ravelry and because I had baby yarn, I decided I would make these baby booties Ta -da! they're a bit out of shape at the moment i haven't got them stuffed properly but there you go i'll put one down these are by a ukraine designer i'll give you the details the rib is different she calls that um wave stitch now there's no real instruction on what to thread through them it looks like an eye cord and that's what i made but i don't really like it so i probably will shop around for some nice ribbon to put in these i used yarn i bought in the uk a couple of years ago i was in weybridge and there was a lovely yarn shop there and i bought this yarn that's what's left of one ball for these booties it is um, a style craft yarn it is lovely and soft a premium acrylic special for babies aaron that is the label 184 meters or 201 yards per ball and it's called baby mint this color now the pattern this is where it gets tricky it's in Russian and it's been translated to English it's a free pattern on Ravelry she does do tutorials in Russian yes they speak Russian in Ukraine and I didn't find it that hard I muted the YouTube channel blew it up because it's really well filmed and you can clearly see what she's doing and anything I was in doubt about with the pattern, I could check out on the YouTube. So that's her pictures there for the pattern. Um, lots of lovely pictures at the back. Now, the pattern designer. Let's hope I can get this right, her name. They are called, in English, they are called Warm Baby Booties Knitting Pattern by Katerina Mushnin for three to six month old baby. She used Gazelle Baby Wool XL um, needles 3.5 millimeter. I still use the 3.5 millimeter, but I use the Aran because when I did a yarn sub, it was pretty close match. Yes, you can see I've written all over the pattern as per usual. But this is a free pattern. She has lots of free patterns for baby booties and YouTube tutorials to go with them and other patterns. And there are some lovely patterns by Ukraine designers out there. There's still time, I think, I think it's sometime in late June, her hashtag knitting with Ukraine finishes. It could be an Instagram picture posting. I'll make sure I'll put a link to the, in the description be below so you can join in the hashtag and do knitting with Ukraine. I don't think it has to be a knitted project. That just happens to be the hashtag uh, Amanda Jane uses, used. She does a lot of lovely knitting. Trust me, I wish I was that good. Um, please check out her channel. It is really nice. Um, she's funny. Um, I don't know. She has a really lovely voice, speaking voice. She's just a nice channel to watch. I need to catch up on some video watching. 
So my next project was just something inspired that was in my stitch library on um, Ravelry. I have made this lady's patterns before. Now I've just got to find it. Here it is. There's lots of patterns here. This one is by Mariana, Mariana's Lazy, Day, Lazy Daisy Days. And it is called Malika Lazy Baby Vest Top with Side Buttons. Here is my finished version of it it's not a very good baby hanger but anyway has buttons there it's for a toddler one two two maybe three four depending on how big your toddler is designed to go over their clothes just to give them a bit of chest warmth it was so easy to make and i did just a little bit of color controlling in the front the yarn i used was lime brands ice cream yarn in the color mint <laughs> this one that's what's left of one ball. And I have another ball of that. I'm fairly certain this yarn came from a yarn swap with Libby a couple of years back. And I'm finally getting around to use it. So I do thank her because it is a lovely yarn and lovely and soft. And I do like the variegation. I just need a little colour control in the front to make it look balanced. And that is the pattern there. Unfortunately, I printed it in black and white. But I think I did a pretty good job. And it is knitting. So that was another, another baby love pattern. The other thing I have been doing, I remember I, if you've been watching me for a while, I broke out my sewing machine and I was going to start doing some easy projects and try and get back into sewing. And I have made some birth, birth cloths which is toweling one side and a lovely printed pattern the other, designed to go over a parent's shoulder when they're holding baby in case the baby makes a bit of a mess on them. I've made two matching. Uh, um, one of our retail outlets here had a homeware sale and put a lot of towels out on sale. I bought the towels and cut them up. It's really cost effective. Um, I plan to sell them as like two as a gift in my Etsy shop or on my craft store. Roll them one that way and one this way and have some nice ribbon around them. I have an acquaintance re recently had a little girl and she thought they were absolutely a perfect baby shower present. Um, she said it saves getting big towels out or trying to find cloth nappies if you have some specially made burp cloths. And I do plan to make some more in other colours so I did buy a few towels and it's just finding a nice backing fabric to go with them. Um, especially for boys. There's not a lot out there for boys. So that was more baby love. Which brings me to my last finished object. Now I asked you all about my um, kaleidoscope blanket. And the, I picked the idea of a doll's blanket. I think I've shown it before and I finished it. And turned it into a doll's blanket rather than frog it. Um, and, you know, it would be pretty sad to put all that work away. I wasn't enjoying the kaleidoscope blanket. And this was an awesome solution for this project. I've since bought, got a little doll and I have made her a matching dress. Ta-da! Now, please don't ask me about the pattern for this. It was just something that one night in front of the television in my head formed into the shape of this little doll's dress. She was with me. She can actually suck her thumb. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. And using the same colours that were left, it matches the blanket. There is an organisation here collecting old toys for um, disadvantaged youth with all the floods and what have you that uh, kids have lost their toys. And I'm going to package this up nicely and donate that as a gift um, to their collection. I thought it turned out really well and I'm happy that I didn't waste all that hard work frogging it. Um, sometimes you just find a pattern and you do it and then you just think, oh, and it is such a chore. And I have this policy now, if I'm not enjoying it, it gets a flick and gets frogged. So that is my baby love projects I have made so far. Having said that, when I tidied up my yarn stock, 
there was a lot of baby yarn in different weights, different colours, different brands. And I thought the only way I'm going to put a real dent in this is to make a baby blanket. But I can't decide on which pattern. I have narrowed it down to three. And I'd like you to help me decide. So in the comments below, you put your vote for which pattern you think I should make next. And yes, the most popular pattern will be the one I make. I won't show you the yarns because that will be a surprise when I make the video when I finish the blanket. Now, they will all be crochet patterns because I have some really big knitting um, projects on the go and I really don't want to knit a baby blanket. So, first pattern number one to vote for is Michelle, this blanket here. I'll turn it that way has like strips of panels like um, called the midwife which I've made before and I quite like that one it is in my stitch library babies crocheted rugs and shawls the book I bought uh, maybe last year maybe earlier this year I can't remember from um, the craft shop up on the tablelands but that is number one Michelle if you like that one that's what you vote for number two is a free pattern from Ravelry. Um, I quite like the stitch of this and it is from Daisy Farm Crafts and it is called the Petal Stitch Baby Blanket and that is the picture of it there. That's what the picture will look, the stitch will look like. Not necessarily will I use those colours but yes it is um, as I said by a pattern by Tiffany Brown or all the links will be below. So number two is the Petal Stitch Baby Blanket. Number three is a paid for pattern and I have made it before. Building Blessings Sweet Tear Spring Baby Blanket. I made this would be over a year ago and I made a matching beanie and gave it away as a gift and they loved it. This is pattern number three, Sweet Tear. I will put a link to Karen Wright's Etsy shop for this pattern if you want to buy it. It is cheap as chips and really easy to follow. And I love the fact she used bright colours. Um, these are all lightweight yarns. They're either four ply, um, I think they're all about four ply, which is like fingering sport weight. Living in the tropics, parents just want a lightweight blanket. They're not really into heavyweight blankets. And I do have a lot of yarn in four ply. So let me know in the description below what your vote is. One, Michelle. Two, Petal Stitch. Three, Sweet Tear. And I will make the most popular one voted for. And that'll help me decide. Because I was like, it was hard enough getting it down to three I liked. There were so many lovely blankets out there. There was even one by a Ukraine designer, but I decided um, I really couldn't find it in English anywhere. And I thought that's just going to be too hard for me to try and work out. So until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you vote for which pattern you think I should make. Bye for now.